people are so used to showing like two facets. What do you mean? Here's what I like to do. Here's what I do for work. Yeah. That, like people are just used to like almost this, um, I don't know. It's not, it's just two facets. They're like, which one do you but, want? But you know what though? That's what most people do all, like we have 20, here's, we have only 24 hours a day. Yeah. And if you spend 12 of it working and then two of it eating and then the right. rest sleeping. Yes. You're not lying. So that's if you look you at do. it like a pie, then you're like, oh, like what are your f- favorite slices of the pie? For me, like, and for, I really believe this is exactly how you live your life too, is um, what I was saying about living on that other plane with this understanding about timing, um, my highs are high. My lows are not as low ever since since really getting to that place of understanding. Of That's like, another good way to put it. What is my life? My, my lows have never dipped as low as they used to because I have a baseline of like truth and knowledge and and I mean, it's a strong foundation. But what's interesting is that that turns my pie like that God is the filling of my pie. I don't know how to tell you about one slice of my pie per se, because they're all related. Mm. You were asking me like, well, what do you do when you're not working? I'm like all kinds of things because it all. Mm-hmm. And, and when I work, it feels just like that. I mean, other than the the hangups with um, the personal conflict and stuff, but um, or the conflict of interest for my conviction to not. Wear a mask, you do a lot of ministry. I do ministry all the time and it doesn't tire me and I, I'd be okay. I feel weird getting paid for it, but if that's how I spend all my time and if that were to be a way that I made money, it wouldn't be a major hang up for me. I just feel like I'm happy to do this for free, but I would, if that was how I was supposed to do it so I could have freedom and not be uh, accountable to some other value system, I'm good with it. But the way that we walk through our days, the way that we use our time is in a relational sense. So God is like the filling of this pie and there's no part of it that's separate. All parts of it ring like sweet with this presence. Like I feel like he's in our work. He's in our exercise. He's in our friendships and our ministry and our family time and our conflict. So everything has this cohesiveness and there isn't like one section of my life that's like I don't like that. That's just what I do for money. Yeah. There, it doesn't. It doesn't exist. And like to go off your point um, earlier, did with you like, just raise your hand because you were. Well, to I'm up. like I have something exactly. <laughs> Like, I have something that goes exactly off that just point. Let's not Zoom call. Don't, don't <laughs> change the topic yet. But like um, when you asked the question before about um, like what kind of Christian I think, or you asked if I was like religious and it's I like, asked what kind of Christian. Yeah. You're. It's like, I'm just a Christian and that, and it's because it's like, I think so much of, at least in America, you hear Christian and it's categorized as a religion, religion. because it's like people's, it's like the side dish of their life. It's, yeah, a it's a part of their pie of their life. Whereas I'm like, it's my whole life. Like yeah. Jesus is like in everything that I'm doing. And it's like, that is, that is the rock. Like that is the rock, which the Bible says to build your faith on the rock, not That's on the, the sand foundation. Yes. And so, um, I've lived a portion of my life where I worked a corporate America job straight out of college because it was the thing to do and it's what's conventional. And I was miserable and I was living for the weekend. I was escaping through partying and music festivals. And eventually I just hit this place where I was like, this is not even fun. Like this is, this can't be all life is about where you work and save for your 401k and try to get a house and you know live for the weekend and just like and so I feel very out of place sometimes but that's why I connect really deep when I meet people who kind of have the multifaceted aspect to them too I can still get along with the people still living still living the other way but um yeah and it's interesting because you were like well some people are like that you know some people compartmentalize you were saying You know, um, but there are people who don't enjoy what they do for work and they or or that they get paid for their hobby and then they don't like it anymore. Like that's the case for some people. What I would say is a case that I recognize. I think I can tell when someone has the whole pie and the whole pie is the same flavor. Like I can tell when someone else lives their life that way. What do you mean the whole pie? When I'm saying like God is a part of every piece of my world every piece there isn't a part that's separate from him and there are a lot of people who live and he's one piece of it they're like oh yeah oh i like that that's so deep it just hit me what see you're saying everyone have a pie yeah 
but not all pieces are the same flavor. I've right. never heard that. Yeah. You ever seen Costco, like, like the sampler thing? Like it's all different colors and it's disoriented and there's papers between them to separate them so they don't mix. That's not what kind of pie I am. Whoa. I'm completely integrated. And I find that I, I easily can find and identify other people who are also completely integrated. How do you if identify you, you just recognize it. It's like you recognize uh, you can recognize when someone's from Israel, right? You're like, Most oh, of the time. are you from Israel? You, I'm, of, that's I'm sure the, you that's can tell. That's because they sound like this. Uh, what is the time? <laughs> you mean what? they're not reaching out to you going, hey, let me put lotion on your head. Oh, you're so beautiful. Come here. That's, that was, those were all <laughs> the Israelis. I'm like, you're so handsome, but I don't want this foot scrub. Get away from me. <laughs> At the mall, right? Yes. At the oh mall. Oh, gosh. Do, so do, do they handsome stop you? and flattering. And I'm like, get away from me. I don't need what you're selling, but you're beautiful. But no. Hey, uh, lady, can I ask you a question? Uh, what do you do with your hair? <laughs> all the time. Can, uh, did you strain your head today? Let me help you. <laughs> You're so beautiful, but let me help you. <laughs> Give me your money. <laughs> yeah. Give me all your money. Yeah, but you can tell. There's a recognition, and it, it's. I would just call it a spirit recognition. Yeah. You can tell, and and we people outside of this would call it vibes. Like you can tell the vibe. It's a spiritual recognition. You can you can see it quickly. Like mm. there, it, and it's self-explanatory. It's kind of like. Um, I mean, yeah, it'd be like knowing someone from your home, t- home, hometown or um, there's an air about people who live life that way. And if I were to tell you about like any of my mentors and I have a lot of mentors and I really believe in mentoring and I just think it's incredible and underutilized. All of them, their life is a, a whole pie, too. They wouldn't be able to say like, oh, what are your hobbies? It would be like like what do I do uh, sometimes I do this sometimes I do it's all unto the Lord and it is all in some way enjoyable still mm. because he makes it enjoyable like he makes the tough days good when you're at work or with family and like it's tough like he is abundant mm. and that is like a way that you get to walk through life that it's priceless and it's really sad because I think that a lot of people see that that fractured pie and they're like who would want that nobody likes that flavor you're crying right now no I'm tearing I tear up because it's like it's so it's so sweet it's so beautiful and like we don't most people don't know that you can live life that way yeah we're not supposed to be cut up like that. We're supposed to be a whole piece, and he's mm. the one that makes it a whole piece. But if you only keep him in one section, you will never be a complete pie, and you'll keep finding different flavors to substitute, and, like, maybe this will make it work. It doesn't work that way. He created wow. it on purpose to need filling, you know, and he's the how, filling. How do you, as as two of you oh, sound, the, filling. the what? Good. Yeah, the he's the filling. That's a good. Yeah. Like I talk a lot about how we're vessels, but she really we're like pie. Yeah, that's my language for everything. No, she just <laughs> said the pie being this all uh, pieces yeah. being the same flavor. Yeah. I never thought of that. Yeah. It, another way to think of that. Forget religion aside, because I'm not Christian. I, I so yeah. a lot of what you're saying hits home. A yeah. lot doesn't. Yeah. But but let's apply it to what does hit home. Yeah. Um, Christianity aside. Another way to say that my entire pie is made up of the same, the pieces are made up of the same flavors is, mm-hmm. am I showing up to all as areas of my life as Yol? That's another way to think of it, not just Christianity, mm-hmm. yeah. but like, does the true Yol exist mm-hmm. in every one of my, the pieces of my pie? Yeah. And that's what it got me thinking. Yeah. Um, and that's a really interesting thing, and I've never heard that. Like, and it's something I'll have to ponder. It, I think, very sadly, people today do not get to see a lot of wholeness. Right. And I mean, I I really say like we're vessels. We, you know, what do you call this? Cup. Okay. But if I had it over there and I said, can you pass me my water? I'd pass you your water. Yeah. You call it the water, right? But like we're a vessel. That could be an empty cup and it's just a cup. It's not water, but it's filled with water and now it's water. I'm filled with the Holy Spirit. Like God is in me. And so therefore he goes everywhere I go. Mm. He is a part of every part of my life and it changes the way that I live my life. But we just don't see wholeness enough. And even like the friendship that we have, we don't see that enough either. You say, I don't, you know, when I'm low, I just pass through it. A lot of people don't know what it's like to 
be your bare self in front of someone and have them be safe and and actually point you towards wisdom. Sometimes we understand companionship, but what about wisdom? Because that's mm. what people really want. Mm. Understanding. 